now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Brought down at about the 31. Second and eight, ball on the 31-yard line. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. And he is drilled at the 38. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That brings up second and 13. From their own 38-yard line, second down. He's scrambling. That's a great tackle at the 43. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Let's make these babies In the shotgun and five wideouts. He scrambled. Tackle at the 44. So the quarterback scrambles for about a yard. That makes it so Thornburg is the punter. And this one is a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Tigers and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Now here's the line, here's the line. He's on the run. Makes it to the 44. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. From the 41-yard line, first down. And he's level at the 28. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. him out around the 19-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. On the ground with the tailback. Nice run there. Got some open field. Yeah. 
Quick throw to the tight end. He's hit and taken down. Here's the eighth play of the series. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Lead and pushed out of bounds behind the line. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. This to try to put his team up by a field goal. Kicks up. And he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. The Tigers are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He fights forward to about the 29. A one-yard gain by the halfback. He got right in there and popped the ball carrier. This senior just doesn't back down from anyone. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. He's on the run. And he's going to be sacked. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Throw in left. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. Thornburg awaits the snap. It's away and it's a booming punt. He's to the 40. And down he goes at the 48. Sometimes the punter can get so much leg into the ball that he outkicks his coverage. It looks like that's what may have happened here. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Tigers lead 3-0. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. play action. Runs with it, and he's got room. He gained a good six yards on that scamper. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker.
Pitches out of the ball is up for grabs. They fall on it. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Cruz gains about four yards on the play. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 18. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 30. Stop right around the 28 yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. From their own 28 yard line. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled him. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Man left, man left. Right four, right four. Go, four. The cavalry's coming. Throws it out there. You know, I think that time, Brad, the defense tipped their hand with the blitz. You could really see the blitz was coming. And when an offense at this level knows that there's pressure coming, they can make the proper adjustments and then put those wide receivers in one-on-one -on -one opportunities against the defense. And when you blitz, you're really leaving yourself vulnerable to a big play against a, a good offense. And he's taken down at the 40. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 40. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. And they back up three yards on that play. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They can get into field goal range with a decent gain here. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Somebody jumped early down there. Ball start off of him. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. Quick throw, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. The Eagles use their second timeout. Well, that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drive. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays. But they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. That brings up second and goal. Second down and goal. 
Ball on the 13-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. Play 13 of the current drive. The short yardage defense here. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Ball start, start offense. Off it's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. This should be an easy field goal. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think if I were the offensive coordinator, I'd take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he's hit immediately. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Quick strike, and he drops it. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed, hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. Gets it out quickly. Brought down around the 49-yard line. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Throws complete. He stopped immediately. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? Offense lines up in a five-wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. That makes it first and ten. At the 16. Fires it out. What a play, and that is first and goal. The Tigers using their third and final timeout. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. 6-3, Tigers. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And 
being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively. How about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. He's out of bounds around the 28-yard line. A pickup of about three. That's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a gain of six on the play. Third down. tackled around the 31 yard line great job here and shutting down the run that's a real boost for this team they've got 10 guys up they're coming after the kick he gets it away and this is a really nice punt <laughs> Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Little man down, and the trainer's on their way out to have a look. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 32. Mike four, Mike four. Black five, black five. Blue four. Once and all, going deep. And he's tackled right away. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Run play and he'll lose yards. down 10 yards to go ball on the 18 tackle made at the 10 yard line Adams gains around eight yards on the run 
The Eagles lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. He scrambled. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Nice play fake. Now he's going to run and watch out. Decides to slide. That brings up second and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They're packed in tight on the line. Makes a move and he's in for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A nine play, 68 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 10-6. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Man can't tack on any yardage. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They try running left. Broke away from one. Still on his feet. He won't go down. He's taken down at the 17 yard line. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. He's into the open field. And they push him out right around the eight-yard line. He fights forward to about the seven. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's pushed out of bounds at about the five-yard line. Going to the end zone, and it's coming back out. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. First and ten. Ball on their own nine. six-yard line. From their own 26-yard line. First down. Black five, black five. 
He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The Eagles lead it by four. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. to buy some time. That's a great tackle at the 28. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. What's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Looking for the corner, brought down at the 36-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. That makes it first and 10. ten. So we've got a first down after a great running play. at the 20. Makes it to the 14. They're in the red zone, so this quarterback better be smart. Last time, he threw a pick down here. He goes out of bounds around the five yard line. That makes it second and so it's second down and about two yards to go. Play action. Quarterback's going to run it and he's got room to work. in this territory, but they look totally in control there. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. So a four-play, 63-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. The score now, 13-10. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. But well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. They come out on an empty backfield. And down he goes, around the 42-yard line. On their own 42 yard line. First down. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. 
Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Going long. Tipped away. And he was looking deep on that play. Let me just say one thing. They are definitely not afraid to put the ball in the air. That time, they were lucky it wasn't intercepted. Second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 48. Less than three minutes in the game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That'll bring up third and four. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Gets it. He's in space. And he tackles him hard at the 33-yard line. There. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. That'll bring up second and eleven. Second down and eleven. Ball on the thirty-four yard line. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. This is the ninth play of this drive. He's under some heat. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. The kick is up. And he nails the long field goal. Collier has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Man, this has just been a classic defensive battle all game long. I've been so impressed with both of these defenses, especially the defensive line. They've been stout against the run. They've got the pressure on the quarterback. It's made it tough for either one of these offenses to put up any points. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. He's in trouble. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. Under a minute left. And a quick throw. Brought down at the 48. That brings up second and one. Taken down at the 42-yard line. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. Just throws this one away. Right. 
They'll have one more chance for the end zone. He wants it all. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Number 23 on the coverage. That brings us third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. He airs it out. Well, the player of the game might come from the defense after that stop here late in the fourth quarter. That could be the turning point. Well, that's the end of regulation, and this game is still unsettled. So we're going to overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner. So we go to overtime. Quick strike, and he drops it. From the 25-yard line, second down. Slings it. Tackle made around the 20-yard line. That'll make it 35. Third and five. Ball on the 20. Toss is out to the tailback on the screen. Tackle at about the 17-yard line. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Got it, and brought down immediately. Scrambled. He's taken down at the 13-yard line. One thing about this quarterback is when the play breaks down, he has a way of improvising and getting positive yards. First and 10. Ball on the 13. Here's a handoff, left side. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Quick throw. What a play, and that is first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. They put everyone up on the line. Room around the corner. And he's tackled around the two yard line. Big down here. It's third and goal from the two, and they can take the lead. Gets rid of it. Kicks away, and it is good. Both offenses did well responding to the early pressure of overtime. Now we'll see who can play better defense. First down, 10 to go. 
Ball on the 25-yard line. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Tolbert, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Fires quickly and he's got his man. A huge play and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. With the toss, he tackles him for a loss. He's going to try and scramble. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. From the 25 yard line, first down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He heaves it to the end zone. He brings it down. Touchdown. So the offense comes up big, and now they're just an extra point away from a third overtime period. I know we usually don't talk about extra points being big kicks, but they don't get much more important than this one. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. Both teams are dead tired, but one is going to outlast the other. This is looking like a classic in the making. First and ten, ball on the 25. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop at the 15. That makes it first and ten. throw out to the receiver incomplete from the 15 yard line it's second down get to that quickly and that sets them up for the first and goal that makes it first and goal Pays off. Touchdown. So with a first possession in the third overtime, this offense takes it in for six. There's no resting easy yet. They still have to stay on the field and try to convert a very crucial two-point conversion. So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. Defense stacked in tight here. He's on the run. It's on a move. Touchdown. Touchdown. 
So the offense comes up big and gets six points here in triple overtime. And unless they want to leave this in the hands of their defense, they better come up big here again because they have to go for the two-point conversion. He's got the two. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. And they get the sack. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnover. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Screen pass incomplete. He launches one for the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. It doesn't seem like anything is enough to put this game away, does it? I can't wait to see what happens on this two-point conversion. They'll go for two in this situation. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line deep. And he comes up short on the two-point conversion. So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. The Tigers, 31. The Eagles, 29. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.